Let's talk more about Netanyahu's supposed plans to, to release sensitive information before American lawmakers. With me now, Republican Congressman Robert Pettinger from North Carolina. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. Thank you for being here. A quote from you, quote, in my opinion, Netanyahu is the Winston Churchill of the day warning the world about Iran. Regrettably, President Obama is the Neville Chamberlain of our day in denial of the enormous vulnerability we have to the potential nuclear capabilities of Iran. In light of that, is Netanyahu's invite more about President Obama than Israel? No, ma'am, I think it's important that uh... The Prime Minister come. I was with him two weeks ago to really encourage his speech to make sure that he did come. He understands these threats. Iran has been a sponsor of terrorism for over 30 years. And we see their footprint throughout the Middle East, in Syria, in uh, Iraq, in uh, Yemen, uh, in Lebanon. We see them in, now in Argentina, Venezuela, Cuba. Uh, we, he understands well, surely, these threats. Surely, sir, President Obama realizes that, too, or in your mind, doesn't he? Well, I think uh, the president has chosen uh, the path of least resistance. He is appeased. He's apologized uh, to uh, our adversaries. Uh, the world does not understand his leadership. I've been in the Middle East on a number of occasions. But they don't understand the direction and lack of direction of our president. What, what I think the prime minister offers to us is a clear understanding of the foreboding evil, the foreboding threat of Iran, and an Iran with uh, nuclear capacity and long-range ballistic missiles, which they are currently developing with North, with North Korea. This is not even included in the P5 plus 1 negotiations. Is that really true? This is an existential is threat. Is that really true, and how do you know that? It's believed by many sources. That, what sources? Uh, that sources of, of uh, our intel, our capacities to understand what they're doing. That you've talked uh, directly to? Yeah, I have had conversations with individuals who understand that the direction that Iran is going with developing long range ballistic missiles, this is a uh, grave concern and we should be aware of this. This well, is an existential threat to America. Yes, I'm glad that the Prime Minister is coming in behalf of Israel, but he is also coming in our behalf, in the behalf of the whole world. Well, you let, know, me, Churchill ask, let me ask you this, sir. Let me ask you this, sir. What would happen with Adolf Hitler? And I'm glad that the Prime Minister is coming in our behalf. Okay, let me ask you this. Should Mr. Netanyahu share sensitive information on, negotiating, on negotiations with Iran, um, publicly? Should he share that kind of information with the world? Well, I don't have any reason to believe that he is. I think there's a lot of speculation out there of what he is going to do. I think this is all created for media interest and attention. Uh, let's hear his speech out and hear what he has to say. I think the recognition is that Iran with nuclear capacities is in a major threat to the entire world. We need to understand that. They have never kept an agreement. We have given them concession after concession. You know, this whole narrative has changed. It began with, should we allow Iran to have nuclear materials, nuclear capacity? Now that narrative is, well, how great of capacity should we allow them to have? We've, we've given them $12 billion of repatriated oil revenues that have sustained their economy during this entire time. You know, the Soviet Union collapsed under President Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, Pope John, Lech Valencia, well, well, going, going we put back to the matter of hand, Iran, because I really want to focus pressure. on Iran, sir. Could we just well, focus on I, Iran? So, so I'm, I'm Benjamin on Netanyahu, how to deal with Iran? I'm focusing I understand, on how to deal with Iran. but I want to focus Soviet it Union. on Benjamin Netanyahu's speech from the floor of Congress. So, if he does share sensitive information about these negotiations, that's will very you address that? Is. That's very presumptuous. It if is. he I'm does, would you address that? Let's define what sensitive is. I, I'm, I'm not going to speculate on what might be. That's nonsense. Let's look at the reality of the threat that is there and what Iran has done and what have, they've done the last 30 years. They have been in, in the source of funding terrorism throughout the Middle East. Imagine Iran with a nuclear capacity. I think that's the message we all need to be listening to, and all the rest of this is hype. It's, it's pure political nonsense to be, well, I'm not going to go because it's partisan. Well, you make it partisan by not going. You know, let's go and hear the message of our closest democratic ally in the Middle East and hear what he has to say. I think we might learn something. But, but, but some people might, might think that this sounds an awful lot like Israel and congressional Republicans negotiating or not negotiating a deal with Iran 
at the same time the president is. Isn't that strange? No, I think the I think the prime minister is coming for the very purpose of hey, my friends, listen, listen to what I have to say. He is gravely concerned. I was in Israel two weeks ago. I was up at the Golan Heights with these young officers in the tank battalion. I was down at Gaza. They understand these missiles that come across, fired by Hezbollah, funded by Iran. Uh, they understand the threats. They live under these threats. Uh, Israel lives under these threats. I've been there three times in the last 18 months. I am grateful that the prime minister would come over here and against his political interest. Uh, you know, this is not a positive thing for him back in Israel to be doing. But he is so gravely concerned about the outcome of what this agreement would be that he's coming here to tell us and express his grave concern. All right. Um, Congressman, thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.